One of the Senate's most solemn constitutional duties is to provide advice and consent to the President on the nomination of Supreme Court justices. Chairman Grassley, who is my friend and I respect, said his reason for unilaterally designating 147,000 pages of Burke documents as committee confidential is because that was the condition that Bill Burke imposed on the provision of the documents. When Judge Kavanaugh was in my office, um, meeting with us, I asked him, who is Bill Burke? By what authority can he restrict the information given to the Senate Judiciary Committee and to the American people? Is he a government employee? No one knew this mysterious Bill Burke who is filtering these documents. So I figured since the nominee carries the Constitution in his pocket, there must be some reference to Bill Burke in Article 2, Section 2, but it just says advice and consent of the Senate. It doesn't include Mr. Burke. By what authority is this man holding back hundreds of thousands of documents from the American people? Who is he? Who's paying him? Our duty to the American public is to evaluate a candidate on their body of work, but we're not even getting released that. And why? Because some political person, not the, a person who holds public office, I mean, it's unprecedented to think that this committee has ceded its role to a partisan outside lawyer. And so here we're about to go forward with just 10% of this person's record to evaluate, to base our questions on, to investigate. 90% is being withheld. It is not the chairman's doing, necessarily. It is this administration that has concealed and hidden documents from us and from the American people. And so I renew my motion that we adjourn so that we can access the documents we need, review them in a deliberate and thoughtful way. Denied because we're not in executive sessions.